Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Message Reviews Podcast. I know, I know you'll probably expect an episode on Friday. But we are changing the format back. Hopefully for the last time, we're going to do Podcasts Monday. Podcasts Monday. So you have all week to watch before we get to the next podcast. So, I know we did the three a week for a little bit. But I do think doing the one a week, giving it the best I've got with one topic or one story or whatever. Granted, I have two stories that I... Um, but trying to hone it down a little bit better, I think will be best. So we're going to switch to that. Today's podcast is really just going to be about the reviews we did this week. I got a couple stories on some of these items. The Iverson Answer 4 I've got a story on. And I got a story on the Midnight Ritual um, a whiskey. So I have a couple stories for you today. We'll do a quick overview of the products that we did uh, reviews on this week on our TikTok. And then we'll go from there. Um, before we start, though, let's let's just quickly talk about Battlefield uh, 2042. Did y'all see the trailer? Please tell me you saw the trailer. This game is going to be amazing. I can feel it. And for gamers out there like myself, we need this, right? Oh, raise your hand if you're tired of Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm ready. I downloaded a couple new games last night, Grand Theft Auto. Hoping I could find some, uh, some I just got to buy some time to October 22nd. We got some gameplay coming out from Battlefield uh, later this week, or maybe even today, depending on when this drops. But there'll be some content, uh, some gameplay content from them very soon. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I, I need something new, something fresh. Because it is killing me to keep playing the same game with hackers, cheaters, racists, camping, timmies. Like, I, I know I can't be the only one out there. But anyways, let's get into a quick overview of the TikToks that we did this week. And then... We will uh, get a couple stories for you on a couple of the uh, the items that we did uh, reviews on. So, let's start with this one right here. The Artist Prime headset. So, I won this in a, right. on Jack Zilla's uh, Twitch uh, a couple months ago. Finally got it in. The, um, the giveaway was sponsored by Gnosis, uh, which I've done a review on them before. Gnosis is... Uh, it's a solid energy drink. Uh, definitely enjoy it. But anyways, they, they sponsored Jackzilla, so he did the uh, giveaway uh, with them, and I won that headset. Uh, so far, uh, I, I'm very pleased with it. I like it a lot. I made a couple changes to it. We'll do a full review later this week or next week. Uh, I'm just trying to get in a little more gameplay with it. Um, but so far, so great. You know, I like it a lot. And, um, I mean, for the price, too, 100 bucks, you can't beat that, to be honest. That's a great headset for $100. So, anyways... This package came today. The Artist Prime, or not the Artist, sorry. The Prime Wireless Mouse came in today as well, or not today, but this week as well. I bought this myself. I, I can't remember the price though. That's the problem. I'm gonna put the price somewhere right here. Uh, I think it's between 70 and 90 bucks, but I'll put the price down. But this mouse, and I know, I know we've done the Rx3 wireless, and I know it's a great mouse. So far, I think this mouse is better. For me, at least, I think it's better. Um, the size of the mouse, if uh, you've seen the reviews, it's just it's just taller, fits better in my palm. I'm a fan. We'll do a full review on this as well. I need to get some more gameplay in it, gameplay with it. But so far, I love it. I love it a lot. But uh, yeah, so those packages came in this week. Let's get to the Doctor Squatch. I posted a couple TikToks on these. I did my first review on the Birchwood Breeze. And first things first, I want to say to Dr. Squatch, I want to say thank you for commenting, liking. Uh, I, I really appreciate that. I, I think it's huge to consumers. Um, you know, when you give a product a shout out for whatever reason, whether you just like me like to do reviews, but, but seeing that that company personally thanks you, that's huge. That's huge. And, and like I said, so far, I like it a lot. Um, I think the, the, the grittier ones are going to be more my, more, more my, uh, my type. Um, but we'll, we'll get to them eventually. Um, but uh, you know, to me, it means a lot. 
right? And I know to other people it means a lot, right? The reason why I bought these soaps was I constantly kept seeing it on my feed, right? Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, didn't matter where. I saw ads for this soap so much. I had a buddy, um, A Hammer, he bought some. You know who A Hammer is. If you've seen the other podcast, he's the one I did the PC review with. Um, He's like, he's like, dude, you gotta check this soap out. I'm like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. I kept, you know, pushing it off and pushing it off some more. Um, but we're here, and I finally got it, and I highly, highly recommend if you have not tried them to go try them. And I don't get paid for this, you know, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. The main reason why I purchased it was because I wanted to put my takeout my review out because I'm a normal person. It's not being paid for, it's not being sponsored, right? I wanted you to get a review from a human being who's not getting paid for it, you know? I, Cause those reviews mean more to me than anything, right? If, if a friend recommends something, um, it means more. You know, if somebody who doesn't get paid for it recommends it, it means more. Now granted, would I like to get paid for it? Heck yeah, everybody would, especially knowing that I'm probably gonna use this soap for the rest of my life. Not even kidding about that. This stuff's legit. So yeah, you know, be nice. But you know, that's not the point. The point is I wanted to get that review out for you so that you you know whether or not you should buy it. My boy HB Security, he would pick some up because of the reviews. HB, let me know what you think when you get a chance. And I know you sent me a link for the uh, the hot sauces. I'm going to pick those up actually after this and we'll try to get those reviews in the next couple weeks. He's got some friends in Colorado, I believe. It was Colorado. They, they have a, a hot sauce um like one of those boxes monthly boxes so we're gonna get to that hopefully later this week. i love hot sauce so um it's finally time i need to get on that so we'll add that there'll be there'll be some more reviews on the hot sauce company's company uh soon so the dr squatch highly recommend all right so like i said i got stories on the iverson and i got stories on the midnight ritual so let's go over these other two bottles real quick and then we will move on the termana Blanco Tequila. I'll get it, see if we can get a close up on it. This stuff, legit. Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Tequila Company. Wow. Dude, shouts out to you, man, for doing your research and, and making sure this stuff was going to be legit. Because this is the best Blanco Tequila I've ever had. I'm typically a Don Julio guy. And uh, Don Julio is like $15 more expensive than this bottle. And this bottle is better. If you saw the review on TikTok, I didn't dress it. I didn't chill it. Just straight shot, you know, give it a taste, see how it is. I like when it, when it comes to tequila, if I can drink it neat, it's a good tequila, right? That, that's, that's how you know. That's how you know. You know, because, you know, the, the, the crappier tequilas have that aftertaste or that burn or you get that, you know, that, that face, right? There was that tequila challenge that going on, and you know, this is the stuff. No face, it's clean, it's good. I can only imagine what some mixed drinks would, would uh, taste like, and maybe we'll do some mixed drinks later this week, or even next week with with this tequila. But uh, if I'm just gonna have a shot of tequila, neat. This is the stuff right here, Termana uh, Tequila by Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I love Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I've been following him for a very, very, very long time. Good job. Jeez, this stuff's good. Okay. Let's get on to the Calumet 14 year. If you saw the review, a little disappointing. Um, you know, when you go to the liquor store, you spend a lot of money on a bottle, right? I don't mind, it's a $109 bottle of whiskey, right, bourbon. You know, they made 19 barrels of it. This thing was barreled in 2006. You're only allowed one at the store, right? This was supposed to be like a big deal. You know, it's supposed to be a big deal. I felt it could have been smoother. I don't know, man. Like, I, maybe it was too hyped up in my head. Don't get me wrong. Did it taste great? Yeah, the flavor was phenomenal. It's a good flavor. You know, I felt like you could, I wish I could explain it better, but I've had better bourbons that are smoother with a smoother finish than this one. And this one was double the price. So it's still good. 
I, I can't recommend it for the price though. That's the problem. Like for $109, I cannot recommend it. Will I drink it? Yeah, I will over time. But uh, I just feel like my bib and tucker, I'd rather have that, you know? I'd rather have my bib and tucker. 60 bucks. Rather have that. So it was good. I was a little disappointed. If you saw the TikTok, you, you, you saw the full expression. I was a little disappointed. I thought it could have been better. I think it was just too hyped in my head. All right. Story time. Story time. You know what? We're going to do this one first. Story time. This right here is the Allen Iverson Answer 4 by Reebok. It's got the zipper. Right? This shoe was my favorite sneaker growing up that I got when I was playing basketball back in the day. So I played basketball from the third grade all the way to like 10th grade, 11th grade, I believe. Uh, when I finally stopped, I just started doing music and things like that. I had a band and, and um, you know, that's what I switched to. I like to do that more than playing basketball. But anyways, this particular shoe, I remember when I got the shoe, I remember loving Allen Iverson back younger, back in the day. I remember watching him make the playoffs, play against Kobe and Shaq, and unfortunately losing to Kobe and Shaq. But I remember me and my brother were on the couch with my parents watching the uh, NBA Finals, game one when they won, and uh, really rooting hard for Allen Iverson. And uh, this sneaker was the, the first pair of, of Iverson I ever had. It was, I had the all white version though of this, and it had some black accents, like the I3 was black accented, uh, the, where it says DMX right here, that was an accent of black, but the rest of it was white, black zipper, I think this was black maybe too, um, on the one I had, but when I realized these came out, I had to pick up a pair, it's 140 bucks, one of the best things Allen Iverson did was he didn't raise the price on these sneakers like crazy stupid high, which he could have, because the leather quality on this, Solid leather quality, solid. All of his sneakers, really good, nice, smooth as butter, but, uh, smooth as butter leather. Sneakerheads know what I'm talking about. And every sneakerhead has that sneaker that just means a lot to him. This one is it for me. This one is it for me. So I was super happy to see he re-signed because these are hard to find. They, or they were, they were hard to find. And uh, I'm super stoked uh, about that. But I remember, um, I remember buying the sneakers, or my parents buying the sneakers for me. And it was probably like the most expensive pair of sneakers I had ever gotten at the time was to play basketball in. Because you know, when I was high school, we um, we always got the uh, Adidas sneakers that were sponsored because like the school was sponsored by Adidas, so they can get like a team, a team rate or whatever. So we always got certain Adidas sneakers depending on which ones they wanted to do with the team colors or whatever um but i remember we always play summer ball and during the summer everybody was rocking the t-mac everybody all my friends all my teammates they were all wearing t-mac and they were like oh you gotta get the t-macs everybody's getting t-macs it's gonna be the school or it's gonna be our, our shoe for, you know when we play that, that, that's the shoe i didn't like them if i can find a picture i will post a picture of what the t-macs look like i should be able to find one hopefully you see it right now i'm not a fan this shoe is so much better so much better. And I remember we were practicing one day and my buddy Colin was like, ooh, Gonzo's got the uh, the Iversons. And, and everyone, they weren't paying attention, I guess. And they looked at my, like, oh, come on, man. What? The T-Max. T-Max, I'm sorry. Your shoe ain't as good as this. This is better. And and quite frankly, dude, I don't even know if I'm going to wear these. Like, If I buy another pair, maybe. But these are super special to me. It's like a piece of art to me. If you're a sneakerhead, you know what I mean. This has a lot of memories. So, but I, I remember it. I just remember just pissing every one of my teammates off because I didn't, uh, I didn't buy <laughs> the T Max. But, uh, but yeah, I was, oh man, this shoe right here. This shoe brings back some memories. All right. So, the final story of the day the Midnight Ritual. The Midnight Ritual by Boulevard Brewing Company and Foundry Distillery. It was a collab. It's called Midnight Ritual. It's an American malt whiskey, 44.5% alcohol by volume, 89 proof. 
is distilled in Iowa. Now, I'll give you a more in-depth review real quick just because of how much I like this bottle. Um, it is aged 24 months, unfiltered wheat, uh, worst, uh, number three, new charred American oak barrel. And the flavors are just phenomenal. Caramel, banana bread, allspice. And um, when you drink it neat versus you drink it with an ice cube, there is a difference in taste. Um, so a couple years ago when I first moved to Kansas City, um, I went to go do a tour at the Boulevard Brewing Company. And they were talking about, hey, we're doing this, um, this bottle. You know, if you want to pay half now, half later. Um, there's going to be a party that you can go to. And unfortunately, because of COVID, the party didn't happen, which sucked. Because they would do a tasting there. And everyone would get, pick up their bottles. It would have been, been so cool. Oh, it's a little disappointing. But anyways, it came out. They you know sent me an email. Hey, your bottle's ready. They called me. Your bottle's ready. It's like, oh, cool. let me bring my stuff up there. So I went up there and picked it up. It's about $60. They gave me these nice glasses as well. And uh, it's in the TikTok, if you haven't seen them. Nice glasses that came with them. Holy crap, they really went all out. I got two glasses. And the reason why I started my TikTok reviews is because of this bottle. Now, it's it's not because I, this was so great that I had to start reviews. Don't get me wrong, it's great, but that's, that's not why. So, if I haven't told this story... Which I might not have. I might have, I might not have. I don't think I have. But anyways, so my friend Jack Zilla. If you know who Jack Zilla is, he's a Twitch streamer. Um, he got really big on TikTok and then that's how he started uh, Twitch, uh, doing his Twitch streams. Great guy. Love the guy to death. He's been giving me a lot of advice when it comes to all this stuff. So anyways, what I used to do, and uh, I still do, uh, the days that I play with him, you know, when we play all night or whatever, at some point he's got to eat. Hey, message, entertain the chat while I'm gone. So I just got the bottle. So we popped it open, and I'm giving a full out depth review on his stream. You know, the whole thing, reading it, smelling it, full detailed review on his stream. This is like six months ago. I think it was like six months ago. Anyways, so I do the review, and his mods are like, hey, you know, why don't you start a TikTok and do reviews message? And, you know, I, I fought against it. I'm like, you know, I, I don't know. You know, blah, I don't know. And keep in mind, Jack's got his headset on the whole time. So he's read every one of my reviews that I've done on his stream while he goes and grabs his food. And, and it takes a little bit of time for him to get his stuff, you know. And so he gets back. And he jumps on the mic and he, he goes, message, what's the worst that could happen? You gain a small following. Companies start to send you things for free. Sounds like a win-win. So I thought about it. Okay, we'll do it. We just hit a thousand followers on TikTok. Most of it due to our alcohol reviews. So, I mean, that's the story behind how I started the TikTok reviews. And uh, I, I, I very much enjoy them. It allows me to try a bunch of different things. My liquor, uh, I might have to buy a liquor cabinet at some point because I just got bottles and bottles and bottles. Well, I'm not, I have got what I have, 12, 15, 12 bottles. Of I don't drink that much. <laughs> so so when I get it, like this bottle's going to be like that for a while. You know, this bottle's going to be like that for a while. This one I might drink a little bit more. But like, you know, like I got a lot of like barely drinking liquor bottles over there. You know, it'd be nice once we start, like, COVID's really over and I can invite people over or whatever and they can you can, they can have some or whatever. But uh, it's a lot of fun for me to do these reviews. And uh, if you watch my reviews, you see I do a lot of cinematic shots. Those are my favorite things to do. You know, especially back, back in the day when I was working with Jake Dexter and, and doing things for him. Um, cinematic shots are, are my jam. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, if I was going to do these reviews and have fun with it, I wanted to do it the best of my ability, the best way I could do it to have a good time. So cinematic shots are what you're going to see a lot on these reviews honest reviews are what you're going to get on anything i do and um, i really am thankful for everyone that's been following the channel and uh, we're going to continue to have some fun and do some great reviews um 
in a couple of weeks, I might have a panel, uh, a paneled review. Cause I think we're going to do, um, the fast nine series or the fast and furious series in general, but I'll see if I can put a panel together for that one. Cause I, I think that, uh, having a lot of people for that one's going to be a lot of fun, but I'm super excited for that. The future podcasts and the future reviews. The podcasts, like I said, they're going to be one a week again. It's just better for me to be able to get as much as I can, put more detailed into the uh, into the into the editing, and um, I'll try to edit this one as best as I possibly can. I'm only shooting on my phone for right now. I have not finished setting up everything I needed to set up to get to my regular computer for the editing portions of it. You know, I'm not doing them live anymore like I used to, um, but hopefully next week or the week after, I'll have my Apple computer set up with my all my stuff ready to go so I can really put a lot of detail into all of um, the reviews or, or the podcasts and have as much, um, you know, much creative editing, uh, you know, whether it's popping, you know, a picture here and there or, or wherever the case may be um, to give you the best possible content I can on the podcast part. Now, the reviews, you know, they can be random. You know, we might have some good cinematic stuff with some liquor reviews or you know, if I'm out at a restaurant, I might just do one here and there. You know, those will be on the fly like they usually are. You know, whether they're, they're a lot of editing or not. Um, but the podcast, I wanted to just kind of come out here, have fun, do my own thing. Uh, I very much enjoyed uh, doing this. And I, I just don't see me stopping anytime soon. Um, obviously, you can see we're on a new set that I, I kind of built myself. Um, I like it for the most part. Uh, I got a new desk coming in. So we'll move my computer desk over here next week, hopefully. Uh, it's a little more fancier looking desk, and I think it'll, it'll look, make the background look better. Um, but other than that, that is all I have for today's podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you stay tuned for the reviews on the Artist Prime uh, headset and mouse. Hopefully they'll be out this week. And I know I still need to get to the review on this particular Yamaha headset, my Rode Pod mic and Rodecaster Pro. I'll make sure we get those in and my boom arm. And uh, if you can't tell how bright this room is, I got two new lights that I'm working on. And we'll get reviews on those as well this week. Don't know if we're gonna have any liquor reviews this week. I just really don't see myself needing to get any more. But if we, if we have one, it'll be later in the week. But anyways, again, thank you for being with me today. I appreciate it. You have a wonderful, blessed week. And I'll talk to you next Monday. Peace.